Can you tell us like uh, this is kind of going back, but like your first interaction with Dre, your first time in the studio? My first time in the studio with Dr. Dre was at Solar Records. Um, a song I had called Gangster's Life. It was a song that he liked off my cassette. It was me, him, and Nate Dogg. He redid the music off of James Brown, Big Payback. When we first got in the studio, he made me rap it in his ear because he wanted to hear my tone for real, not on the cassette. So I rapped it in his ear, and then he started putting the beat around it. Then once he got the beat laid, he told me to go in, booth, in the booth. When the booth spit my rap, Nate put a hook on it, and that was my first encounter, and that record never came out. Whoa. It's Damn. called Gangster's Life. So then what, where do you guys go from there? Because you came out with the, the Chronic and all that. We just started working on a bunch of other songs, a couple of songs that didn't make the album, and then we we probably caught one with a, right before G thing, I think, uh, Deep Cover. Wrote Deep Cover right before G thing, and then G thing. And then all the rest of that shit just started flowing. The whole album just started coming together because we was in there every day. And he knew what he wanted, so it was us following his lead. 